Good morning from Edenton, North Carolina. We're gonna check out the herringbone for brunch. We've got an 1130 reservation. They've been working on it the last two times we've been here. It's finally open, so we knew on this trip we wanna make a reservation, we wanna get in there. It's a popular place, the menu looks good, so let's go in there and show you around. beautiful bar here first come first serve and they do serve food there so you can just open this back door there's a bar seat grab it yep. and drink and eat mimosa is delicious it's it's like champagne orange juice <laughs> the most blatant thing to me is the sparkling champagne which is good yeah. so solid really mimosa good. if you're eating brunch come on get a mimosa but we hear that yeah, you have to get a bloody mary yeah the so, bartender said to get the bloody mary so after this we might share share a bloody we'll mary. see what happens the bathrooms are absolutely beautiful and they have hand lotion and they have hand lotion yeah, in your bed yeah. very nice touch and we're small town weekend it's all about small town local community i'm looking through the beer tap list for later reference every single beer is from north carolina that's what I'm talking about. There's so much beer in North Carolina, so it's so cool to see someone, you know, is supporting all the local. Nothing but North Carolina beer. Look at this tap list. There's like, I don't know, 20 of them? All of North Carolina. That's small town weekend right there. Uh, it looks like they have two like herringbone specific beers. So there's a herringbone down and out IPA and a herringbone red herring Irish red brewed out of Elizabeth City, but it seems like it's brewed for this place. So we're here for brunch. We're kind of doing the whole mimosa thing, but 100% gotta come back come through right through this back door hit the yeah. bar and i want to try that herringbone ipa i always think that's such a nice touch when places have like beers yeah specifically something exclusive for it. yeah it's very nice so we went with the french toast um, and the cro croquet monsieur that is a big Lamage. The waitress brought us a big knife so we can cut into it really yeah. good. <laughs> Look at that. Oh go. my gosh. Look at that. Yeah, that looks really good. Food looks delicious. Yeah. So we're going to get into it. He's already getting into it. You mentioned what we got. And we're splitting it. We're just like getting two, but we're kind of having both of each. I think you'll agree. I think this is the perfect combo to split because yeah. you get the salty, savory, and then the sweet. Definitely. French toast is out of this world. The French toast has like the raspberries and the like raspberry jam on it, but then it's got this peanut sauce, and so it tastes like a peanut butter and jelly, but like it a very does. fancy peanut it butter and jelly. It does. so good. Oh my gosh. Then it's got that good marscapone cheese in it. Sandwich is just, it's got that good melty cheese, and it's got the good mustard in there, so it's like, it's very, it's very good to, I don't think I could like just eat that. It's a lot of It'd sweet. It'd be a lot of sweet, but yeah. with this, oh my gosh, it's nice. Makes it mega important. This is gigantic. Yeah, this is massive. The sandwich. You cut that yeah. in half. That's a meal for two. Definitely. Right? And the fries. They're the good skinny fries. I think we both are skinny fry people. So good. Very good. Okay. So we got the other brunch staple drink. It's the Bloody Mary here. Just got one. We're gonna split it. Yeah. Let's try it. normally a Bloody Mary person just no, by nature but that's a good one that's really good yeah it's got a good amount of like spice in there then you got this pretty little what would you call that I don't know <laughs> pretty dressing here with the <laughs> olive and the salami and cheese you can tell we're tomato. not Bloody Mary people per se but. but I do know that with Bloody Mary's the uh, the little dressing is very important so yeah. this looks very pretty very good that food didn't stand a chance didn't stand a half chance that was good feeling too very good we're going finish sucking on this delicious bloody mary here from the sign here you see you got go through this door to get into the bar um, and then obviously you have the trolley area over here which is 
such an awesome place to get some drinks at night with the fireplace going. We'll probably try to come back tonight maybe for a little bit. We were there last night um, and it's just absolutely beautiful. It's awesome. Well, we just wrapped up brunch here at the Herringbone and it was absolutely delicious. Very good. Um, everything we had was good. All the staff was super friendly. The location is perfect. Obviously, like we said, this is a new place. And I mean, as far as Edenton, I couldn't imagine a better spot to put something like this right here on the water. So prime location. This was definitely a much needed uh, restaurant for the community because there's not really anything else open on Sunday. This is the first place that is open on Sunday as far as like a nicer restaurant. Very well done, very tasteful. We can't wait to try lunch and dinner again. Until next time. See ya. This has been a small town weekend.